Hey, growers! Today I'm setting up the first part of my garden's ventilation system, namely the incoming air. Now, these metal fittings you can see here on the floor are your new best friend. If you're wondering why, don't worry, I'll show you in just a moment. For now, just feast your eyes on this big hole. You're looking into my lung room. I'm going to be drawing my fresh air from in here. You may recall I created a wall vent to suck the air in from another adjacent room. I prefer to draw my garden's incoming air from indoors rather than from directly outside because the air temperature and humidity is more stable. Plus, there are fewer bugs. Now, this big hole needs sealing up. I only want filtered air coming into my garden. Saying that, I'll obviously need to make some provision for the grow room's electricity supply as the panel is located in my lung room too. I've cut out this piece of plasterboard that will fit snugly in place once I've made an indent into the top left hand corner. I'll then cut two holes. The hole on the left has a 6 inch diameter and the hole on the right is 8 inches. The 6 inch hole will feed cool air into my Magnum Triple XL air cooled reflectors while the 8 inch hole will supply my garden with fresh air. The point I want to stress here is that you need to know where your garden's fresh air is coming from so that you can filter it and keep it pest free. Now. Let's return to our little metal friends. You're looking at an Ideal Air 6 inch duct collar. This will be fitted over the 6 inch hole like this. It has an adhesive surface that allows it to stick to a wall or flat surface to create an airtight seal. And on the other side, we have this Ideal Air 6 inch duct coupler. It's the same deal with the 8 inch hole. Duct collar on one side, duct coupler on the other. Okay, let's use a jigsaw to take that corner off the plasterboard panel to allow for the electrical wires. Next. Let's cut out these holes. While we cut the 6 inch hole and get this panel in place, let me explain why the first hole we cut was 8 inches. Obviously it's to fit 8 inch ducting which will in turn connect to an 8 inch hurricane extraction fan. This fan will actively push fresh air into my indoor garden from the lung room. My two Magnum Triple XL reflectors will cover an area of around 9 by 4 and a half feet and the ceiling is 8 feet high. So my active growing area is 324 cubic feet. 9 times 4.5 times 8 equals 324. This is a really important number. As an absolute minimum, I need to exchange the air in my active growing area once every minute. Extraction fans are commonly rated in CFMs, or cubic feet per minute. So you would be forgiven for thinking that I need an extraction fan rated at around 324 CFMs. However, I intend to attach a fresh 8 inch incoming air filter to my hurricane fan. Great for protecting my indoor garden from pests, but it also reduces efficiency by up to 25%. I chose an 8 inch hurricane fan because it's rated at 745 CFMs. Even with the 25% reduction, I'm still at around 559 CFMs, more than sufficient and it allows me some room to expand. So. After attaching some brackets, we finally have our ventilation control panel in place. Let's roll this on a bit. We fitted an access door below, sprayed a foam sealer into the hole for the electrical wires, and now it's time for our moment of glory. Oh yeah! We're going to fit the Ideal Air duct collars and couplers. Be sure to remove the covering on the collar that protects the adhesive surface so you can stick her firmly in place. And there we have it. Two beautiful ventilation ports for our indoor garden. No air should enter my indoor garden or air-cooled reflectors without passing through these channels. It's so important to manage your garden's ventilation like this. Let's take a look from inside the lung room. Hmm, I can spot a problem immediately. There's a sizable gap between my access door and the ventilation panel. Yeah, you can see the light coming through it quite clearly. I'll need to put a draft excluder strip or something similar on this. Okay, are there any more tiny gaps? Maybe, but the ideal air duct collar should take care of them. But, just to be sure, I'll use the Silverflex duct tape too. If you haven't discovered this stuff yet, then I highly recommend it as it helps to create really airtight seals without leaving sticky residues behind. Well, that'll do for now. But before I go, don't forget to check out our info sheet at JustForGrowers.com entitled Choosing the Right Extractor. I've included a link to it in the video description text. See you next time. Everest, out.